I'm very, very, very happy that I did it. I'm very, very, I enjoy the fact that I did it. And I was doing it well. Most of the time I was doing it very, very well. That part I enjoyed, but a lot of the time I didn't enjoy it. The controversy has always centered around the claim that Saddam Hussein could deploy weapons of mass destruction within 45 minutes. But Mr. Campbell played this down. It wasn't within the discussions, to be frank, it wasn't that big a deal. Whatever you're thinking, this isn't what caused my depression. Over a decade with Tony Blair, being manically busy may even have helped keep it at bay. You've just been propelled ahead and ahead in this sort of whirlwind of activity. Like, you know, I've got to fly to New York, I've got to go to the United Nations, I've got to go to this meeting with Tony Blair. That gives you a sort of momentum, you just keep going and don't have to stop and think at all, do you? And once he left number 10, there was really no hiding place from what was going on inside his head. One thing experience has taught me, there's only so long you can keep a lid on depression. Leaving number 10 in 2003 was a huge change because I... I'm doing something literally kind of seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and then suddenly, what to do now? It was a difficult period for us because I'd been quite opposed to some elements of what the Labour government was doing, particularly the Iraq war, and he found that very difficult because I think he likes to feel he controls the space around him. And if the per key person in his space is not going along with what he wants, he finds that really, really hard. Work. Music, <laughs> keeping fit, <laughs> all homegrown therapies. Chest out. Last five, four, three, two, one. If I don't keep physically active, I risk a plunge. <sighs> For four years, I was the chippy student from up north who thought wearing a tie was a sellout. I think it's fair to say I didn't make the best of my time in Cambridge. It's definitely when my drinking became, I think, what most people would define as problematical. Scientists have long suspected there is a link between our immune system and our mood. One of the main functions of our immune system is to protect ourselves from infection. You had a stressful job. You used to drink heavily, you used to smoke heavily. So all of those I would count as risk factors for inflammation. Bad habits in my teens and 20s may have triggered my depression. Now I'm in good shape physically and my moods are less severe than they used to be. 